Hey guys, welcome back to the Toy Lounge and today we're going to be looking at my very first Power Team Elite Special Ops 1 to 18 scale Humvee. And as I mentioned in the intro, this is a Power Team Elite product and you'll notice with this box no Power Team Elite appears on the box. You've got the Special Ops logo. Now the thing with these is that these were made for Target exclusive packaging but you'll notice on the back of the box if I turn that around you do have the Power Team Elite logo there on the back left hand corner with the Target Australia so these were found in Target all around Australia back in 2003, which is when I purchased this product. Although Target has re-released these in new packaging with the actual Power Team Elite logo on it. Well, that's being the only difference now between back then. Toys R Us was also known to sell Power Team Elite products in different packaging. Uh, Toys R Us had their own, has their own exclusive line or had their exclusive line with the True Heroes logo. And the thing with True Heroes was you'd find that they had toy lines from both Power Team Elite and another company called Chapmay. Now the difference between Chapmay and Power Team Elite, one thing to note, if you want to know the difference between the two, is Chapmay has more of those crazy looking unrealistic vehicles with lights and sounds and other features, whereas Power Team Elite went for more of that authentic realistic look, more detail. Well, not to say that Chapmay didn't have detail, but Power Team Elite have that more realistic look of, you know, vehicles that you'd find today in the military. They are 1 to 18 scale, so very compatible with your G.I. Joes. And if I just show the back again... You've got the variant... Humvees that you can pick up from the line. They all, well, these three are pretty much the same thing, except just with different paint apps and they have different uh, attachments, different weapons attached to the top, but they are pretty much the same, just repainted. And the one we're looking at today is the variant which is more of a troop carrier and you'll notice that it says fully posable action figures included inside although this this box being so old the troops were positioned right here, held together by rubber bands, but over time those rubber bands have weakened and they've broken off and my troops have made their way all the way in the back here, if you can see them. So, they found a more comfortable spot there. They probably realised they were going to be in there long term. But that's enough about that. Let's get this thing opened up finally. And let's have a real close look at it. Okay, so our Humvee's out of the box and it comes with a ton of accessories. So let's have a look at those first. Firstly, let's have a look at the uh, troopers that are included. Now, they're not bad. I mean, they're not G.I. Joe, but they're not bad. They're definitely not Chapmay. Far better than Chapmay action figures that you get. There's a lot more detail in these ones. 
fully articulated, of course. Head rotates, you've got the up and down shoulders rotate completely. They even have a biceps swivel, bend at the elbow. There's also a rotation in the hands. Legs go up to there. There's a full rotation in the waist. Bends at the knee and bends at the foot. So plenty of articulation. The knee articulation is probably the ugliest. Or probably the only thing that's really ugly. Everything else looks fine. The camo. Two different head sculpts, of course. They're not bad. They're, they're good fillers for your G.I. Joes. You know, background characters. Yeah, they're not bad. A lot of people put these guys down. They're not, they're not really that bad. They're okay. I wouldn't throw them away. Not me personally, anyway. The uh, machine guns they come with. They're a bit rubbery. I mean, this this one is okay. Just put this guy away. Nice detail there. And if you want these guys displayed uh, displayed with more realistic guns, then just get something that you know you've got from your GI Joes or something. And this M16 with the bayonet attached to the end is a. Uh, was the one I found warped. It's all bent, as you can see. But hey, it is what it is. And now for the more realistic looking accessories, it comes with three of these barrels. Very happy with the way these look. You've got three of those. One crate. Very realistic looking crate. Put that aside. Two sandbags. They look nice. I like those. You've got the vest that you can fit on your trooper which also fits in really well with your GI Joes I noticed these fit the uh, modern GI Joes especially with that first snake eyes mold if you want to give that a go it has two straps at the top and two on the side there that you can undo doesn't look too bad You've got the rocket launcher. Whoops, with a stand. You can rotate that as well if you fit it anywhere you like. Not bad looking. Two canisters, jerry cans, whatever you, whatever you want to call them. And the bazooka. Not bad looking bazooka. Okay. Moving all of those to the side. Let's get to the main part. Our Humvee. Now, holding this in my hand, it is light. It is a really light toy. Realistic as it is, very realistic looking. There's no engine cab in there. So if you look in there, it's completely hollow. But when I'm displaying it, I'm not going to have this much light 
shining into the cab so you wouldn't be able to see it. Realism where it counts. It is a very, very realistic looking vehicle overall. Great job on the on the camo. Rolls really well. So great toy. Although I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend this to a you know a young kid that wants to push it around and crash it into walls and stuff like that. I don't think it will last. These parts here are kind of flimsy. I mean, they're not going to fall off if I do that to it, but you can see it is very bendy and it can easily break, especially with this front uh, bumper or ball bar. I mean, as realistic as it looks, I'd probably mostly recommend it as a display piece for an adult collector or a young collector that wants to display his military toys. So the wheels are of a solid plastic. No rubber there. Doors open and close very well. They click in, shut. You know, you've got your fuel tank opening there. Everything's there. Even the welding around the the vehicle there. Done really nicely. Lots of detail there. Nice plastic uh, see-through uh, windscreen. Another difference between this and the Chapmay stuff, you never see uh, you know, like a glass, clear plastic windscreen. It's always, there's just nothing there usually. So it's a nice thing they've added to the Power Team Elite stuff. Just to add to that realism. Not much detail in the cab inside, of course, in the driver's seat. You've got the steering wheel that rotates, which is a nice feature. You've got the seats in there but not much else in terms of detail. I mean, you can put your own decals in there, you can download something from the internet, like a dashboard or something like that. Use your own imagination. And you've got the seating in the back for your troops, or you could just simply load it up with the accessories it comes with. Yeah, very nicely done, very nice detailed Humvee, very authentic looking. I mean, it does say on the package that's an, an authentic Humvee vehicle. They've obviously got a license from Humvee to do this stuff. But yeah, very realistic looking. Here's our Humvee in comparison to a GI Joe vehicle, in this case the Splitfire. So you can compare, see how they scale together. And just so you guys have an idea, here it is displayed with uh, some GI Joes. Got Flint there, driving, Tunnel Rat, and General Hawk in the back. So it fits really well with your GI Joes. And I highly recommend this for you G.I. Joe collectors and the rest of the uh, the Power Team Elite line. I mean, all the vehicles that they produced fit really well. And we'll be looking at more of those in future videos. So stick around. Let me know what you think of this video. Do you like this toy line? You can pick them up at the moment here in Australia at Toys R Us. I don't know about this one, but they do have the other Humvees available. Let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next video.